Hi everyone, this is Avi from AF Math and Engineering continuing our topic on fluid properties. To do it today I've got a density question for you. And this question I hope will help you understand the basic relations between quantities. So a storage tank is completely filled with water. The temperature of the water is 15 degrees Celsius and the volume of the tank is 400 liters. If the water in the tank is heated to 90, 90 degrees Celsius and the top of the tank is left open, what volume of water will spill out of the tank? Okay, so what's our strategy here? We know what is our initial volume. Our initial volume is 400 liters. If we would know our final volume, we could say that Vf minus Vi is equal to the water that will spill out from the tank. Okay, so we need to find our V final. And to do that, we're using one of the most known equations that you will basically see a lot, especially in this course, which is density is equal to mass over volume. Okay, we have our initial volume, we want to find our final volume. What about density? In order to find the density in the question, they are giving us two temperatures. They are giving us the initial temperature, which is 15 Celsius, and the final temperature, which is 90 Celsius. Now, using Google, or simply go to the end or the beginning of your book, you will usually find a table of conversions for specific uh, densities of water under certain temperatures. So, I just went in Google and found that the density of water at 15 degrees Celsius is 999.1 kilometers per meter cubed and the density, I'll call this F, the final density at 90 degrees is 965.3 kilometers per meter cubed. Okay. Now we can set up our first equation and start solving the question. The initial density is equal to the initial mass over the initial volume. Changing the equation a little bit, we can say that the initial mass is equal to the initial density times initial volume because those are two numbers that we have and then we say that the initial mass is equal to 999.1 times 400. But notice this is the trap in the question and this is a classic trap that they do. Our units here is kilograms per meter cube times liters which is not the same units. Okay we need to convert liters into meter cubed. In order to do that the conversion is really simple. If we want to take it from liter to meter cube we divide by a thousand. If we want to take it from meter cube to liters we multiply by a thousand. Okay so in this case we want to divide by a thousand meter cubed over liter. Okay so we'll get 0 0.4 and then we can say that our initial mass is 399.6 kilograms and to notice your units is something that is always really really helpful it's usually the trick in these questions okay now how can we use our initial mass into the into finding the final volume okay the mass as we know stay constant throughout this process so we can say that m initial mass is equal to final mass. Final density is equal to the final mass over the final volume. Changing the equation a little bit, we could say that the final volume is equal to the final mass over 
the final density. Using numbers, plugging in the numbers that we know, we get that the final volume is equal to 399.6 over 965.3 kilograms over 1 over kilograms over meter cubed so our unit cancels correctly and we get 0 0.41396 meter cubed don't forget that now we need to convert back into liters so we simply multiply by a thousand and we get 413 0.96 liters which we can roughly say is 414 going back to our initial equation we can say that VF minus VI is equal to 414 minus 400 which is equal 14 which is our final answer if the water in the tank is heated to 90 degrees Celsius and the top of the tank is left open, 14 liters of water will spill out of the tank, which liters is good because it's, they're asking for the answer in volume. And that is our final answer. Okay, moving on to some harder questions.